this movement up assembly. But I would like to start by just saying congratulations for moving on up to all our wonderful Bulldogs. So give yourselves a round of applause. party started. Thank you, first of all, for being here and attending this most prestigious of ceremonies. All of you will be at this spot soon enough. Even though you are sitting with your grade level like a pep assembly, this ceremony isn't a raw raw. Even though it is a even though it is of a serious nature, the expectations are we cheer for our seniors, we cheer for our friends, and when there is a speaker at the microphone, we show our respect through silence and attentive listening, which includes resisting the temptation and lure of our personal electronics, in other words, cell phones. Thank you. We gather here today to recognize our seniors, our very own class of 2023. Here's some information for you to know before we bring them in. As they enter, you will notice that several graduates will be wearing gold cords, which indicates their membership in the National Honor Society. Some may be wearing white cords, also known as torch cords which represents their status as one of the top 75 graduates in their class. A distinguished few, 29 to be exact, will be wearing the Bulldog Scholars Corps made of platinum silver thread to indicate that they have earned a 4.0 or above. And some may be wearing one of the few, the proud department award medals. We will introduce you to these seniors during our ceremony. At this time, I invite you to stand for the senior processional. As Mr. Sherrod leads the Mount Vernon High School Band in the traditional rendition of Pomp and Circumstance, followed by the Star Spangled Banner by M.V. Mariachi. Please remain standing as the seniors enter and throughout the presentation of our national anthem. You will face the flag on the stage, over here up front. We are ready, Mr. Chair.
please stand for the national anthem performed by our MB Mariachi. David. Pacheco. Oscar. Giovanni Lopez. Megan Nuanis. Daisy Youngquist. Emily Mentel. Kylie Driscoll. Ella Blair. Ava. <laughs> Alexis Zendejas. Riley. Olivia Thomas. I'm with Josh. Carl Denby. Abby. <laughs> what is the best class you can take at MV? Probably ceramics. Ceramics. I would probably say Avid or Ceramics. Choir, any of the choir classes. Skagit, the Calculus series. Um, definitely Classic Film but, uh, with Miss Snyder. Beginning 3D Graphics. I like the, the cooking class, cooking's fun. Acting with Mr. Zickler. Who's your all-time favorite teacher? Mr. Billings. Okay, Abel Gage at the college. Miss Lewis. Miss Jewel. I would say Swanson and Serrano. Probably Chilko or Swanson. Definitely Mr. Swanson. Uh, probably Brett Farrar. Miss Weimer. Miss Weimer. Mr. Zickler. What is the biggest lesson you've learned from your time at NBHS? Um, probably to not think, take things for granted and like definitely like go and be in the moment and like just kind of like take your time. And don't procrastinate because it just builds up. Definitely to get involved around school and not just kind of go to school and go home. I recommend doing Running Start. What's your favorite high school memory? Acting with Mr. Tickler. Um, probably the assemblies. Standing on stage for concert corners. Probably, like, all of the dances or all of the lunchtime shenanigans, you know? Probably when I started uh, making K-pop for the school. Doing cross country and track. What will you miss most about high school? My wrestling family. High school sports. Everything. Not having to worry, annoying Mr. Simon. Uh, Mr. Zickler. Uh, Mr. Zickler. Do you have any advice for Don't your freshman skip. self? Don't skip. Go to class. Ask questions. Whenever you need help, go to your counselor. Don't get lazy your senior year. Try not to get caught in girl drama. Find people that care about you and your personality and don't conform to what they want you to be. Um, I'd probably say choose better friends, but um, you know, life goes around, so. And what is one word you would use to describe your high school experience? Thank <laughs> you. 
Ray acting cross salute with Mr. Ziggler and Daisy from 1 to 10. Don't kick it over. 10. Don't kick it over. Good morning, Mount Vernon. Good morning, Mount Vernon. Don't don't skip senior prom, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying?
bulldog tradition for the top academic students to speak at graduation. It is my privilege to celebrate the top two academic students of the graduating class of 2023. They have taken so many advanced placement classes that their adjusted grade point average ended up higher than a 4.0, a feat many of us did not even know was possible. Their diligence and academic proficiency have earned them the celebrated titles of valedictorian and salutatorian. As they stand to be recognized, I would like to tell you a little bit about each of them. Salutatorian Gavin Davies. joining the Bulldogs. He was an academic member of our wonderful Mount Vernon Robotics Club, but mostly he enjoyed gaming with his friends during his free time. This fall, he begins his adventure at the University of Washington and plans to major in general engineering. Congratulations, Gavin, on all of your accomplishments at MBHS and for all of your hard work. Bulldogs, give it up to your favorite player, Gavin Davies. And now, for our valedictorian, Luis Bedoya Cruz. As a Bulldog, along with his academic achievements, Luis was also a leader and contributing member of the Health, the Science and Earth Club, as well as the National Honor Society. He enjoys drawing, baking, lemon bars especially, and writing. This fall, he begins his adventure at the University of Washington and plans to major in geological science with the goal of becoming a paleontologist. Congratulations, Luis, on all of your accomplishments at MBHS and for all your hard work and service you have given to our school community. Bulldogs, give it up to your valedictorian, Luis Bedoya
support services slash structured learning student, Logan Griffin. Outstanding support services and structured learning student, Abraham Corrales Ayala. Outstanding support services and structured learning student, Javon Ortiz. Outstanding support services and structured learning student, Emily Bonte. World Languages student representing French, Heritage, Spanish, Spanish, and Multilingual students, Ava Riffenberry. <laughs> Outstanding World Languages student, Mallory McBride. <laughs> Outstanding World Languages student, Versailles Robles Ramirez. Outstanding World Languages student, Raul Quiroz Barrios. <laughs> Outstanding CTE student representing leadership, Abigail Pepper. <laughs> Outstanding CTE student representing agriculture and sports medicine, Milo Gasser. representing agriculture and sports medicine, Sarah Connor. <laughs> Outstanding CTE student representing business marketing, Manu Duchesua. <laughs> Outstanding CTE student representing business and marketing, Hannah Porter. FACSC, Litsi Serrano Pacheco. <laughs> Outstanding CTE student representing technology and visual communications, Timothy Westside. <laughs> Outstanding CTE student representing technology and visual communications, Dawson Holman. Juan Torres Monte. <laughs> Outstanding PE student, Tanea Taylor. <laughs> Outstanding Pine and Performing Arts student, representing art, band, mariachi, and folklorico, orchestra, and vocal music, Audrey Violet. Yeah. and performing arts student, Christian Elephant. <laughs> Outstanding fine and performing arts student, Yoreli Barrea Lagos. <laughs> Outstanding science student, Gavin Davies.
outstanding math student, Kennedy Tutula. <laughs> outstanding math student, Cameron Larson. <laughs> outstanding math student, Emily Mantel. Spencer Solvay. For the Principal's Award, we have Ella Blair. And the Bulldog Strong Award goes to Alexis and the House. Congratulations to all of the department award winners and to all of the graduates of 2023. It is my honor and privilege to introduce Concert Choir under the, under the direction of Mr. Jesus Gomez to perform The Road Home by Stephen Paulus. The lyrics are ideal for the commencement celebrations, for they celebrate the hope strength of our seniors, their families, and the educators who helped them achieve this momentous event in their lives. The song uses imagery of a road as a metaphorical depiction of finding yourself and being able to keep moving forward. As in the lyrics, when the dark is done, as I wake up from a dream in the gold of day, we also find ourselves emerging in celebration for your perseverance in the face of adver ad adversity and many accomplishments you have received as achieved along this journey. Everyone, please welcome the Mount Vernon High School Concert Choir.
and we have all the seniors who achieved the seal of bi uh, the seal of bi literacy. Can you please stand? One more round of applause before we head to our second period of class. Seniors, please remain seated while the underclassmen head <coughs> back to their class. Staff and students, thank you for showing such respect and support for our seniors this morning. You may now proceed to your second period of class. 